In this video, you will step back with me to a journey I took long time ago. What I learned from it and how it all got me to create with the passion I have today. I hope you'll enjoy diving with me to this small adventure in my journey of creating. For a long time now, I wanted to create something bigger, give life to a big piece of wood in many ways. I imagined in my head that this log of wood would transform to at least a dozen of final carvings, making for you a video that shows how much is hidden in one single piece of wood. But soon enough, I understood that my expectations led me to a completely different story. When I started working on this project, I wanted to be focused on creating, letting my hands flow with anything they grasp, enjoying the meditation that happens when I let myself speak my native language, with a partner that is full of life, movement and a unique beauty of unknown memories for me to discover. As much as I am trained in the language of creating, there were things that got in the way, things I often forgot I am still learning. And approaching them without care is like going for a long hike in a beautiful mountain. Expecting it to be comfortable, enjoying the view, breathing the fresh air, having a beautiful sunny day outside. And then, when you realize on your first step that there's snow beneath your foot and all around you, the hike is beginning to take a different turn. And suddenly you realize that this hike will be more of a lesson than a simple calm day, with the sun always shining on your face. So I'm sitting here in Prague, carving, creating, and still, I can feel the uncomfort of facing something new. And I must put my attention on it. Go out to the snow. Because this is my journey. That I chose and challenging the unknown will only get me deeper into places I would have never dreamed of. Filming myself, creating these videos, working daily with social media platforms and sharing every day a small piece that comes from my heart. It's all new. And I can feel that it touches something deep inside me that's been pushed away by a child lost in the sunny dreams of others. While working on this piece, I felt constant need of the warmth that come with the love of others. Checking my phone constantly, seeing who saw my videos, who liked them, what did they have to say. And slowly realizing that I'm cold, very cold. Looking continually on the snow that I was stepping on, expecting it to be warm, got me completely lost. Just like that child. Luckily for me, the snow is thick and the tracks of my own feet are still there waiting for me to trace back and find my way to the immortal journey that awaits me. So I will go back, face my fears and ask myself why do I feel this? Why the acceptance and the appreciation of others are so important to me that I let it affect my mental health to such extent? I remember very clearly how my 15 years old self enjoyed so much carving. All my carvings were gifts 
and I knew that my joy comes with a positive reaction of others. Back then, I learned how to walk outside, hiking, knowing the loving sun is there shining on my face. It was a clear way for me to feel fulfilled. Getting love from others seems like the main goal of life, and I found a way that no one else around me had. It felt so good. And whenever a snowstorm would pass by, there was nothing appealing in it. So going to a comfortable warm shelter of others, having no way of getting lost, was the only logical choice. Years went by, and as I grew up, my skin got dependent on the warmth and love of others, needing to find bigger shelters that will stand even the strongest storms. Well, I was too arrogant, facing the power of the unknown, thinking I can control it, ignoring the rotten wood in the woods, being so scared of this storm, improvising a shelter on top of a rotten one, continuing like that, not looking down, trying to get closer and closer to the hot sun up in the sky, millions of kilometers away, and soon enough, Time played its part, and the rotten wood gave in to the weight I've built for years. And this shelter fell apart. Finally, I was facing the snow. My skin not being ready for what is about to come. But then again, it would have never been ready. Being in that storm, without any ray of sun, I learned to look inside. To find life and warmth in the language I learned so bluntly as a kid. I started creating, finding myself listening instead of speaking with a confident voice. I kept walking, and this uncomfortable snow all around me started to look beautiful. I wasn't cold. It kept me warm creating. So, as I said before, I did not expect this wooden log to take me back in time, facing that unknown snow all over again. This story does not end here. After understanding how much went behind this adventure, I decided to divide this log into two separate videos. If you enjoyed this small part of journey I shared here with you, I hope to see you next time. Till then, Thank you, and keep creating, warming yourself and everyone around you.